So from here we have the frontal bone and it connects to the two parietal bones and in between you have the coronal suture, the z little zigzags. Here, these are the two paired parietal bones. This here. And you can't see it, but there should be two lines. It should be the inferior temporal line and the superior inferior superior line. Temporal line, sorry. And then between these two, you have these little zigzags is a sagittal suture. Um, here in the very back, you have the occipital bone and it is separated by the lambdoid suture. Sometimes you'll have bones here that are going to be called... Remember? Don't remember. Okay, and that's that. Over here, the glabella is the line in between these two. It's a little process here. Uh, here, the super supra orbital margin is a line right above your. Uh, you push up into your eye, you can feel it. The superciliary arches are where your eyebrows are at. The supra orbital foramen is this little hole here. We'll go to the maxillary bone, which is this bone here. Um, and there you have processes. Wherever the processes lead to, that's what you name it. So this is a frontal bone, so you follow it. It's a frontal process of the zygomatic bone. This one here is the temporal process of the zygomatic bone. And down on the bottom, this is the maxillary bone. Or I'm sorry, the yeah maxillary bone. So this is the process, maxillary process of the zygomatic bone. Um, and then you go backwards for all three. So for instance, this one is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. This guy here, and it's the rest for these three. Here and here. Here we have the two nasal bones. They're separated. There's one, two. They're separated. Um, then you have the frontal bone of the maxilla, maxillary. Maxillary. Um, yeah. What are we going to see? Here we have the two bones in the nasal cavity. This one here is the vomer. This is how you spell it. Vomer. And up top is the perpendicular plate. And it's the top portion there. You could also see the vomer from the bottom. <laughs> right there. <laughs> uh, on the inside of the bone, you also have the inferior nasal concave. You also have a middle and a and superior, which you can't see here. Um, but this is what they look like little bumps. This whole part here is a maxillae. Mm -hmm. You have the zygomatic bones here. Um, on the side, we have the temporal bone. And it's separated by a suture as well called the squamous suture. It's here, zigzag. Um, and that little hole there is called the external auditory meatus. And this bony protuberance is called the mastoid process. And on the bottom part, we have the styloid process. It looks like this. If you flip it over, we have the bottom part is a maxillae that makes up the bottom part of your mouth. 
the two bottom bones here and here is a palatine bones and the feet of the butterfly they call it the medial pterygoid plates and you also have the lateral this one and this one pterygoid plates this big hole here is the foramen magna here you have the occipital condyles you have them on both sides um, here this you can feel this on the back of your head it's called the external occipital protuberance it's just a little thing that sticks out in the back there and I think that's it. Let's go to the mandible. This entire jaw here is called the mandible. Um, the chin part of it is called the mental protuberance. Generally men have a more um, prominent protuberance. This little hole right there is called the mental foramen. Here you have the coronoid process, just a little arch that sticks out. This is the condylar process here. Um, this is the mandibular notch that goes here. And this is the head of the mandible these two here. They are also called the condylar process. These guys, same thing. That's it. Oops. Oh, perfect. And this ridge here that sticks out is called the alveolar process.